Welcome back everyone to a very, very special unboxing of an Android. This is the first ever Hitali on Android. It's a series that I've been into for years now and has never really gotten big figure merchandise. Um, I think they had like a little, little coin trading figures long ago, but um, I'm assuming that Good Small Company finally thought that it's worth investing in. So they recently made a Japan Nendoroid and I pre-ordered him as soon as he was up for pre-order and he arrived two days ago Finally gonna unbox him and see how cute he is because he already looks really cute in the box Before I open him up. Let's take one good look at the box So he looks really adorable in his little box. You can already see what he looks like through the clear plastic He has the Hitalia logo at the top And then pictures of him posed in the back and then each side has a window with his name on it and more pictures of the Nandroid. Really really cute. Alright, he is 753. Let's open him up. This is everything that comes with him. He comes with his base which is this Sakura design. It's really pretty pink and white. Fits perfectly. Next we have his little sword with a thread um, loop to go around him, which is, in my opinion, really good because I really get nervous putting on things that have straps onto Nendoroids and what if it breaks? <laughs> That's always my fear. Each Nendoroid comes with an extra ball joint for his neck, um, which is good in case it breaks, as well as the backing to, that connects him to his base. His face is also really cute. He has kind of that surprise slash angry face. Japan is a very neutral, quiet character, so I'm glad they added another face to kind of take him out of that usual portrayal because in the series he does get a lot of surprises from the wacky characters he comes into contact with. He comes with an extra pair of legs to put him in the sitting down position. Now I'm very happy about these because a lot of Nandoroids can't really sit down as a result of their outfit and whatnot, so I'm glad that Japan can. He'll fit right into the diorama that I plan to put him in with the other sword boys. And then Pochi is really cute. This is his dog that he owns. Oh, Hitalia animals are just always so cute. The artist always draws them really round and puffy. They don't really resemble actual animal anatomy, but that just makes him really funny and adorable. They sculpted that perfectly with this little Pochi they gave him. It's so cute. I love it. He comes with two arms that hold a rice and some chopsticks. They're very detailed and very cool accessories and appropriate for Japan. <laughs> the rice is detachable as well as the arm holding the chopsticks. I don't think the chopsticks, chopsticks can be removed from the hand, but you can take the hand out. In addition to those arms, he also has two arms that are fisted. These are meant for him, like the box shows, to put in front of him. So he's in this shy but very professional pose. It's really cute. And an extra hand that's kind of just an open hand. <laughs> I thought it was a fist at first, but no. All of these hands and arms are detachable, so you can mix and match the arms and positions of the hands. His whole outfit is pretty simple, but I think the Nandroid itself looks really cute. It's very accurate to his design, especially his eyes. They really captured the style that the artist has with his eyes. He just looks so cute. And there he is in all his glory. I put him in the sitting down position as well as put his rice hands on and put him on his base. He doesn't actually need the base. I just wanted to put him on it because it looks really pretty, but with the sitting down position, um, he can stand on his own, which is great. I'm glad that they balanced that out so that he could do that. And then I also put his little sword on him. He looks so cute. I have to say I'm really really pleased with how this one came out. So he is the reason that I actually started building that diorama display with all the remit sets, the Japanese room set, the token Rambu Nendoroids. I'm really hoping that they make more characters. I'm especially excited to see an America and if possible a Russia, um, but if not, he's still really cute and I highly recommend him. So far everything in his design looks good. The only thing I'm worried about is that his uh, outfit is white and white things have a very bad reputation with me. <laughs> um, so it, it would just be a good idea to kind of dust him, check him for any marks, um, maybe once a week just to make sure there's nothing going on with it. Uh, because 
It's a matte finish. Matte things are very susceptible to scratches and things like that. So just keep a lookout for that. But otherwise, he is very detailed and again, highly recommended. I will leave the information on how I bought him, where I bought him, how much he was, and how much shipping cost in the description. Also, let me know how you guys like the backdrop. I decided to kind of switch to color. Um, I'm still getting the wrinkles out of this one. It's a different fabric, so it's very susceptible to wrinkles. But once I get rid of those, I'm hoping that it'll be better than the white one. White allows everything that I show to pop, but it also has this kind of really bright with every item. So I'm hoping that the color desaturates that a little. Let me know which one you guys like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.